Hi everyone, a big warm welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I hope you've got you covered today for the whole of the Christmas season, for dinners, for parties, for Christmas day, for winter walks. So let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about the dress that I have on. It might be a little bit of a YSL dupe. I see what you're doing there, Karen Millen. I see it. So, it comes in white and black. I have the white one on right now. Whether you want to be a white snowman or sexy and black, I feel like it is such a vibe. It keeps you warm as well, so you're not going to get chilly on a night out. The belt doesn't come with it, I have to say that, so you have to get the belt separately. They do have an array of belts on Karen Millen, but also they're really easy to find. There's so many belts out there. But this, the way the sleeves like crunch up and the powerful shoulders, the shoulder pads in it, to this slinky, sexy, maxi skirt, such a vibe. Picture this walking in with like a coat on, a collar up. I also have some cuffs to go with it, which I feel like just finish off the look. Do let me know which is your preference. Do you like the white or do you like the black? I'm such a lover of black, I have to say. It's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> just because I feel like it's so sexy. I feel like you can get away with a lot with black. It's also very slimming, a black one. So the low V-neck, I really enjoy a V-neck. I feel like it's really flattering. I always say the sexiest part of a woman is the collarbone, I think. Anybody else? Is this just a weird thing? And I feel like it shows it off beautifully without being over the top, like with your shoulder out. So I have been obsessed this year with these kind of prom dresses with the shirts. It's very Carolina Herrera. I'm definitely in my Carolina era. <laughs> but this is beautiful. I think it comes in green as well. It might have sold out in the green. I'm not too sure. But this was completely available and I just love the fabric. This to a Christmas dinner event with beautiful sparkly earrings and a shirt, so, so good. Like there is something about pairing a shirt with a maxi skirt that is just so strong, so powerful, so sexy. Carolina Herrera is definitely onto something. This isn't Carolina Herrera, this is Karen Millen, but you get the same vibe. And I have done it throughout this year and they are always at my best reels when I wear this outfit. People go crazy for this kind of vibe because I think it just shows off like how powerful and sexy a woman can be without wearing like a tight mini dress. Not that I'm against tight mini dresses, there's a time and a place for them, but I've been leaning towards this like, this vibe more. I don't know, I feel sexier in it. Do you know what I mean? So this style of blouse is one of my favorite on Cara Millen. They do them a lot. I, ha I have them in multiple colors. <laughs> but I love this wintry one, the silver, the dark colors, the, how much the sequins just shine through this. I don't know, let me show you up close. Like there's such a beautiful shimmer. Like there's such a beautiful shimmer going through all that. And then it has this beautiful bow, which you could tie in a bow at the back. For me, this is definitely giving me Christmas Day vibes, New Year vibes, like a beautiful blouse. So good. The high neck color as well. I love the bow detailing. I feel like this wasn't on the last ones. This is a really beautiful touch for like that festive season, like in a bow at the back. Whether you want to pair it with like some suit trousers or maybe some little shorts or a skirt, this is a very cute option for Christmas. So this coat is that heritage kind of style, that very classic. The faux fur collar does come off by the way, but it is beautiful. Around your neck in the winter time, it keeps you super warm, that little bit of fluff. But it goes to the floor, it's this beautiful check kind of print. I think like even with a suit, like a blazer underneath, Black trousers blazer with this over the top. It's that old English kind of fashion. Again, we saw that hugely in the summer, the old money aesthetic and things like this. Bring it through to the winter and add that little touch of the old classic vintage style back into everyday life, which I love. I love classic vintage dressing. I think it's coming more and more back in fashion. Like the art of dressing is definitely coming back. It's making a comeback. The sweatpants era is finally over. <laughs> So this coat, I believe, comes in white as well, but the, honestly, the detailing that has gone into this is next level. Like, it's all the, way, all the way around the top of the coat. It reminds you of an era of dressing called the Pearly Queen, where they used to sew buttons to their outfits. So does anyone know what I mean? It's a little bit of a nod to that. I love how, like, all fashion from the past, like, comes through to the future. 
But again, if you're wanting to like look extra Christmassy, this is it, isn't it? So, so good. This is the type of thing as well that you could bring out year after year during the festive season just to add a little sparkle to your everyday outfits. And I love that. This is a great one too for like throwing on over evening wear. If you didn't want to put a boring coat over it, you could have a fabulous coat over the top. So I took a casual mirror selfie in this jacket over on Instagram. I'll pop the picture here if I still have it. You guys went wild for it. Like, <laughs> I, I didn't know there was such demand for this kind of thing. But again, like we all dress this sparkly feminine kind of outfits for Christmas while most of us do. But like the masculine vibe, this was like a suit. I wore it with a bow tie. So I'll, I'll show you two different options here or with the shirt open. I love this look. There's something very sexy about doing the opposite to what every, A, everyone else is doing. And B, like there's something so sexy about masculine dressing if it's done properly. I love this. Like when everyone's wearing their sparkly ball gowns, why not wear a suit and a dicky bow? Yes, I'm here for this. So this, it has, it has like this tie detail, which you can tie in a bow, which it was on the site. But I've wrapped it round to like make like a cummerbund. Is that the word? I think that's what they are. It's a vibe. I love this. Even with a diamante choker would be beautiful. You'll see the diamante choker I'm talking about. I'm obsessed with chokers. It's like a new vibe that I'm really enjoying. <laughs> so you might have seen this dress in the last haul but I just loved the vibe it sold out so quickly as well so if you like this get your hands on it because they have just brought it out in a light blue light blue is my favorite color I wear it a lot it's so good for my skin tone like the peachy vibes and the light blue really go well but these are just so beautiful I feel so chic and feminine and fun in this and yeah they do come in large so size down i have the petite size four and it is still a little big but it kind of i kind of get away with this one um just a heads up super comes in super big but um a little hack of these as well i sometimes wear a corset underneath them to like give me extra oomph as you can see so yeah a little hack for the christmas season and get a corset i'll link some below um because I find popping them underneath dresses gives you that little extra bit of breathed in around the waist and like pushed up around the boobs, which we all want this time of year. <laughs> so this is like an organza floatiness around the front and then it goes into like a corsety detailing. So yeah, definitely size down in this, just be prepared. But it goes down to the calves, a really slinky midi dress. I'm all about the midi dress and the maxi dresses. I, I just think they're sexier. And I've said this before, it's really strange because like as I've got older, like my legs are my best feature. I love my legs, I, I, I pride myself in them. But as I've got older, I like covering like midi dresses and maxi dresses. Just because I don't like the vibe sometimes like a cutesy mini dress gives off. Like I want to be a powerful, sexy woman and mini dresses kind of give not that vibe. So it's not that as I've aged I want to cover up more, it's that I find that covering up can give more power. Does that make sense? YOLO, in the next clip I'll probably be half naked. It is no secret that I am a huge fan of some glitter, some sparkle. I just think this time of year as well, Let's, I actually wear sparkle all year round, but this time of year, I don't know if you can see my nails. Can you see the Christmas nails? We have gone full sparkle. So there is some beautiful coats where there is this beautiful embellishment on the deep. Oh, just look how that absolutely falls. Like the, how it falls down, like almost scattering. That is just beautiful. Let me show you up close the detailing of that. So I think if like you wanted to go more casual or the dress situation was not you, you're, you're a more masculine kind of dresser, then how about adding a bit of sparkle to like a suit coat like this? So good, so good. I like both. Sometimes I'm super feminine, sometimes I'm a super masculine dresser. It just depends what mood I'm in really. But something like this, I absolutely adore. So I absolutely love a shirt dress. I think there's something very powerful about color up. <laughs> What's new on this channel, but this sexy shirt dress has been in my wardrobe throughout the year in different ways. And it's something I go back to as like a safety net. It's an outfit I feel good in, I feel strong in, I feel powerful in. So they have brought out these beautiful shirt dresses. There's one in black, one in white. 
and they have this like eyelet detailing on the shoulder and then you bring it away this does come with a belt um so really handy you get an added belt there but i just love this the poofy sleeves as well i've slouched the sleeves up in this because it's just what i do i roll the sleeves up things and i pop the collar <laughs> but definitely something that i always feel great in if you're screwed if you're out of time and you don't know what to wear a shirt dress is one that i turn to a lot so let's talk about this green coat this gorgeous green color i don't know if you can see how beautiful it's like a greeny teal um so beautiful karen millen have the superb coats this year they have absolutely not every other brand when it comes to coat out the park is that the right saying but the shoulders on these, the powerful shoulders, it's like an oversized, a slouchy shoulder, but still strong with the button details, the collars as well. Pretty much caramel coats come in a lot of different colors. I think this comes in camel. I do believe this might be the one I wore in the caramel and TV advert. I'm not entirely sure, but it feels like the same. The belted middle, it also has a really beautiful detailing on the back. Don't know if you can see that there. Were the, the belt goes through it. So I always hate coats that have that string, you know, so when you like have your coat open, you don't want like that tiny bit of string. It has a really secure place where you can keep your belt. The black button detailing and the thickness of this, this is a coat that does not crease. I repeat, none of these coats crease. You know when you sit down and you get a creased coat, that is the worst thing that I hate. So these fall beautifully however much you sit down. So that is everything in this haul today. I hope you like the pieces I've picked out. As always, I like to know which one is your favorite. It helps me shop for you guys. So I'm gonna do a little recap now. Let me know your favorite look in the comments down below. <laughs> box below if you're new here press subscribe it's a whole lot of fun join the family we're growing guys this has grown like 20k in the past like month or so so thank you for sticking with me thank you for joining me if you're new and yeah i'm back on the youtube game i'm really enjoying being back on youtube and making lots of videos for you guys and if you've missed me, I'm always on at the Laura Blair on Instagram and TikTok. So I will see you next time for another video. Bye.